video on my lunch break. Uh, anyway, had to, uh, wasn't picking up any fuel. I had to, you know, fuel can over there. Wasn't picking up any fuel yesterday. I'm like, oh, what's going on? So it is a brand new fuel pump. So I took it to O'Reilly's, got a new one because it's like it was still in a warranty and put it on there and now it's picking up fuel. So then, uh, you know, put the carburetor on there and then the distributor cap was like very loose. Of course, you know, in the end of those clips that hold it down, I bent them down, you know, like this, so I'll hold on tighter. So anyway, so I ended up replacing the distributor cap and the rotor. I actually got a coil and probably throw on there too, just to have it all new. But I mean, it runs, so that wasn't anything. Oh, and I, I lucked out on the brake booster. Again, I always have been checking it. I'm like, uh, I got, oh, uh, what's called Rock Auto pulled up, you know, on my tabs. I pulled on there. There it is, like one available. So I clicked on it, PayPal it, and it's actually shipped. I did that this morning. It is shipped uh, this afternoon already. So hopefully get the brake booster in. I do have a brand new master cylinder from uh, Rock Auto I got the other day. So I got to work on the wiring. Yeah, I just noticed that the, the alternator is not charging correctly, so I think I might have a wire or two flipped around. So I can see on that. I think I took a video or a photograph a long time ago of that. Uh, next thing, I got a cooling system, fuel tank. Let's see, I got the plastic tank that I ordered a long time ago. Me and Blaze got to buy it too. Get a little discount, so I already have the center unit right there. I went in and picked up the holes yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm deleting all the emission stuff, so hopefully uh, throw up underneath there. So the main thing is the wire, and I got to make sure I get the wire from the that goes to the center unit from the regular line. Make sure that's all hooked up. But a little more painting, painting up the seat buckets, center console, stuff like that. Trying to track down parts that we need. But uh, what else? Hmm. I'm happy. It runs, it's alive. But again, like you can see, I still got all this electrical stuff because right now I'm still running off the push button start I got. So, so when I turn this on, it gets power to the coil, but there's no power in the ignition. So maybe, I don't know, like I said, hopefully, uh, maybe I'll swap out those wires and maybe I'll just start with the key. But anyway, thanks for watching.